Today we're making something extra special on the slice. It's a beloved favorite of New Yorkers, and it's something that I make at home in Brooklyn at least once or twice a week. I'll give you two really big hints. One is that it starts with an almost obscene amount of really good extra virgin olive oil and a yeasted dough that gets stretched out onto the tray over the oil. Do you know what we're making yet? Stay tuned to find out. I'm Greg, and you're watching The Slice. Red sauce and white sauce pie lovers rejoice. Today we're throwing, you guessed it, a pizza party. And there's a slice for everybody. Pepperoni three cheese white pie and sausage, mushrooms, and pickled peppers pizza. Preheat your oven to 450. I've drizzled three tablespoons extra virgin olive oil onto a rimmed quarter sheet pan and then stretched one pound of pizza dough to the edges. Drizzle another tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil over the top of the dough and season with kosher salt and freshly ground pepper. The beauty of this white sauce is that it's no cook. All we have to do is stir a few simple ingredients together and it's gonna have a lot of big, bold flavor. Now I like my garlic really broken down in a sauce like this. This is not in the recipe, but you can do this for bonus points. Take a pinch of salt and just smash that garlic with the side of your knife. It'll help to break it down. You'll get that beautiful garlic flavor and fragrance all through your sauce. It's almost like an Alfredo in a way, only much easier and faster to make. Into a bowl this goes. Then whisk together with one teaspoon finely grated lemon zest, two thirds cup heavy cream, one tablespoon fresh lemon juice. It's like magic. The lemon juice is already thickening up the cream and for flavor, Parmigiano Reggiano. Always by the block and freshly grate it. Oh, that looks about right. Season generously with kosher salt and freshly ground pepper. How easy was that? A few ingredients, maybe one or two minutes. We have a beautiful homemade white sauce. Spread the white sauce evenly over the dough, leaving a half inch border. Now remember, this is a three cheese pizza, and that was only one cheese so far. Our second cheese now, mozzarella. Top with five ounces of thinly sliced low moisture mozzarella. And pepperoni. And two and a half ounces pepperoni. We have one more cheese to add to this pizza, but that's happening once it's already started cooking in the oven. We're about 20 minutes from dinner now. Bake 10 minutes. Dollop 2 thirds cup ricotta evenly over the top of the pizza and continue baking until bubbly and the crust is golden brown. 12 to 15 minutes more. Now let's dive into the red sauce pie. Red sauce lovers rejoice. This pizza is for you. It also features my favorite toppings. Starts with marinara. You can make your own or in a pinch buy a good store-bought brand. Even I'm known to do that sometimes on a busy weeknight. With this style of pie, similar to a grandma or a Sicilian that you'll see in those by the slice shops, this can take more toppings because it's a thicker style dough. It bakes up almost like a focaccia. You'll see. Top evenly with eight ounces thinly sliced low moisture mozzarella, eight ounces crumbled sweet Italian sausage, two ounces sliced shiitake mushrooms, one third cup thinly sliced red onion, and one quarter cup halved pickled cherry peppers or pepidus. This bad boy looks oh so good and it's ready for the oven. It is time for a pizza party. Homemade pizza, no less. And it's very little work. Honestly, it takes longer to call in the pizza and wait for it to be delivered, I promise. Oh, I almost forgot the basil. This is the best part. I like lots of fresh basil. And for a little kick, some chili pepper flakes. I like it spicy. 
take a bite right away. Look at that beautiful golden brown crust, a nice fluffy focaccia-like dough. Mm. So good, so much better than delivery. Enjoy. If you like this episode and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications.